Here we go. This is Digital Charcuterie. We're talking Star Wars. We talk a whole bunch of topics. If you like this video, force push that like button. And if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe. We're having a good time here. This is only good times. We're going to see them roll. Let's get right into Star Wars. Here we go. Ben Solo. A Rey Skywalker film was announced at Star Wars Celebration a little while ago. Daisy Ridley came out. She's like, oh, yes, I'm going to be Rey again. Yay. And everyone was like, oh, yay. I love Rey. I hate Rey. And when I, who the hell cares? It's happening. It's going to be great. Let's move on. So Ben Solo is the big question. Where is Ben? People want Ben Solo in it. What's the point of Ray without Ben? Yada, 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 yada. Last year I did a video about the search for Ben Solo idea. And I mean, it, it wasn't based on nothing. So I reached out to a few people that I know. And there is talk within Lucasfilm about somehow bringing Ben Solo back. No one is quite sure at the moment how to do it. They want to work with Adam Driver again, but there's no guarantee how they'll do it or if they will get him back. So it's kind of bizarre that, that they figured out the Ray thing possibly. She's rebuilding Jedi Order, but she was a dyad with Ben Solo. There's no Ben Solo. But Ben Solo is coming back, I believe, but not in the way that you would suspect and not as Adam Driver. Ben Solo will be appearing either in the upcoming, one of the upcoming spinoff shows in the Filoni Favreau Mandoverse or in the Filoni directed film the culmination one and it's really obvious why and i i mean this is all speculation and theory at this point uh this is not concrete but again they are trying to figure out ways to get ben solo back and i think this makes so much sense and i think dave filoni and john favreau they've, they've been pushing the series in this direction and there's been a lot of rumors that uh supreme leader snokey snoke snoke is going to be appearing as well at some point in the mandalorian if that is the case if this is true they're retelling of it's heir to the empire seems to be full throttle now they're not going to do the timothy zahn novel beat by beat they can't and they won't and dave filoni has always said that he felt like the legend stuff you can't really do the legend stuff perfectly as is because people have reverence for that and he doesn't want to take away from their headcanon and what they believe in and i totally respect that and that's why dave filoni is a master at star wars and what he does however they do make uh, changes like IG-11 versus IG-88, things like this. So there is a way around that. But if you recall, in, in the Thrawn, Timothy Zahn novels, there was a, a Jedi Master, Joris Saboeth, Saboeth? Saboyth. I think it was Saboyth. Anyway, he was a, he was a Jedi. They fleshed him out later on, but in the in the books, he was a kind of a, he was a clone, and he was a dark Jedi, and he trained Leia's uh, twins and the and you know to the dark side and blah blah blah. This is how you get the Snoke and Ben Solo, right? Because you can't recreate what they have. Leia doesn't have twins; they have Ben Solo, and we know from the aftermath novels and from all the can canon novels that meant nothing until now we know that snoke had been around uh ben solo like i think even before he was born like snoke was around and so all this kind of fits into that timeline of having snoke and a young ben solo appear and then you can have you know ahsoka sabine mando uh all the characters in the mandoverse can recreate the roles that have been in there and then you can also do in the thrawn uh trilogy but then you can also have whatever else you want uh, to happen to happen that is where we stand right now that's how i think they're going to bring ben solo back it's not going to be adam driver ben solo obviously although maybe we'll hear maybe we'll hear a ben solo voiceover but i do uh who knows who knows it's gonna be look this is so much fun right now this is the most fun star wars has been in forever since probably between the force awakens and the last jedi this is the most fun star wars has been and if you disagree suck a nut thanks everybody for watching give us a like and a subscribe but until next time may you be the master of your own universe